Hi, you're welcome to this channel for today's tutorial. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, you are welcome to this humble family. Nice to meet you. Come on in. And in today's video, we'll be looking at how you can create something like this. Yes, like the one displaying on your screen right now. How you can create a camera and a Bible show at the same time while presenting or your easy washing. So stick around this video from the beginning to the very end so you don't miss any step in creating this content. Enough of talking. Now, let's dive, dive in. in. Yeah, this is our easy worship program. So the very first thing you need to do is for you to come to media over here and come to this feed. Make sure your camera is input already. So if you do not know how you can bring your phone camera into this worship as a camera source, we have the video in this channel. I will drop the link down this video so you can watch and bring in your camera into easy worship so you can follow us along so once your camera is in full the next thing for you is to come to team and you come to scripture because we are dealing with bible in this case from here you click on this plus sign so this is where we are going to create our own design so the very first thing i'm going to do is to click on this bible and shrink it this way then the next thing for you to do is for you to click on this media this video you click on it and you come to feed don't forget, we already input our camera into Easy Worship, so this is it over here. I click on it. I click on it from here and shrink it so to make it small. So make sure you leave a space so that it will not be too much a jump back. So just make it simple and just make sure you decrease this your Bible and then on this at the same time so just decrease this. Okay, fine. Once this is done, the next thing for you to do is to come to this inspector you come to background so you come to this place i will choose media feed because i want to put picture so depending on what you like you can decide to put a video as your background but for me i prefer to use a picture because i have the plan already to use a picture so this is a picture i would like to use this one over here fine all right, so my dad's my background. The next thing for me to put now is my church logo. So I will come to this media over here and I will, from this place, I will come to image and I'll click on this, my logo. I will click, I will drag it. I'll come to this text here and I'll write the name of my church. Yes, this is the name of my church. I will shrink it as well. So I'm going to change the font. The next thing for me to do is to come to this shape and I will select this and I will bring it down like this. Now take it to the extreme end, take this one also to the extreme end. So you can just bring this down as well like this. The purpose of creating this one is for me to write the location of my church. So that's the reason why I'm bringing this down here. So you can decide to put any information there, maybe your church account number or you have any information you want to pass across. So I prefer to put my church address. So this is my church address. Mm -hmm. So I will bring it down and I will shrink it as well so it can fit in and I will drag it. And so drag it this way so it can fit in. I will change the font as well. I will say Ctrl A so it to select all the text so for you to bring the text size down to click on it like this ctrl a to select all so you come to this one over here and you say do not auto size so then i can just drop it to maybe say 42 best thing best you put in your number so let me say 32 so the next thing for me to do is to click on this shape and come to inspector so i will come to elements because it's an element in this slide so i'll click on feed then from this feed i will choose reading so you can decide to use picture if you want to use picture or video you come to this media and then you and you select the picture you select the picture from here or if you are going to use a video you use video but i'm not using media i want to use gradient color to make it simple so i'll click on gradient over here and i'll select my second color so i would like it to be this 
this color now. Yeah, I would prefer it to be yellow. Yes, yellow. So all I will do from here is to change the angle to 45 degrees. I just love it that way and I'll bring down this opacity to be somewhere around 50. Oh, uh, let me see 65. Okay, I'm okay about that. I click on this console. So the next thing for me to do from here is to give it a title. So I can just call it side by side and say apply. Okay. After you've created your design, you right click on it, set as default scripture theme. You click on it. So please forgive me because I'm using my phone to record this video and this is the only phone I have. So I'm going to use my same phone to connect as a camera source on this easy worship. So just give me a moment to do that. Thank you. Thanks for understanding. Yeah. Why settling my camera into my viewership? Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and like this video. It really helped this video to get across to people looking for this type of content and it encouraged me to create more content like this for you. Thank you. Yeah, welcome back. So this is it. I've connected my phone for us to let us launch a Bible. Yeah. As you can see, this is my camera over here. This is me and this is the Bible. So this is... You know, you know, since the slide is not wide, we are going to use the second slide. The only thing I see in this case now, you can see that the way I'm changing this thing, you can see the um, the transition. So let's work on that. So for you to work on that, you come to this thing, you right click on it, you come to edit, edit picture thing. So then you come to this inspector transition. This is transition over here, and you change it from push to none. And the other thing I see you can do again is for you to click on this shape. You click on this on um, this shape over here, and you bring it on your Bible like this. Make sure it fits your Bible, and you come to this inspector as well. Then the fill, you remove it to none. Then you come to the border. And you enable the border, you increase the border size. So as you can see, this is the border size, right? The black. So that is the border size. We don't want the fill, but we want the border. So it will be size as a boundary between your Bible. Color to to let's say yellow. You bring it. You will try to increase or or bring it down. And I will say, okay, I'm okay with this. So the next thing for me to click on is apply. And okay, you cannot see our yellow borderline is where it is now, and you can see. So let us click our first Bible. You can see there's no transition, it's just changing as you're putting it, it's just changing. All right, you can see. So the reason why this is being broken into three slides is because the, the words in this verse is very long. So that is why it's being divided to this three slide. Had it been you are present a very short verse like John 11:35, you will see you can see Jesus wept. It's as simple as that. So depending on what kind of verse you are working with, then it's going to bring it down to a particular number of slides. All you need to do is the more you are finishing one slide, you click on the next slide and you click on the next slide. Thank you for sticking around from the very beginning to the end. This is all I have for you in today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. It really encourages me to create more content like this for you and it helps this content to go viral. And don't forget, if you want to learn more, you can check any of our videos displaying on your screen right now. Thanks for your time. See you in the next one.